My name's Ed, Edward McCumber. This is my wife, Terry. We live in Myrtle Beach for the last 20 years. 20 years. We have two children. They're both moved out, so we're empty nesters. We've been spending a lot of time together and just enjoying each other and dating again, doing things that we want to do. <laughs> Mr. McCumber had an operation elsewhere. The tumor grew back so rapidly that by the time he was ready to do radiation and chemotherapy, the tumor was back. He had a second operation. Same thing happened, the tumor was back. Everyone where he was located said, listen, this tumor is so malignant, it's growing so fast, we don't have anything to offer you. I didn't know what to do. I was praying about how do I help my husband? and this video popped up on my phone. Well, Mr. McCumber looked at our website and saw the video of Matthew Feuder, who's our patient who's now alive 11 years with no tumor, who received the treatment at one-fifth the dose that we're using now. We actually called Dr. Baskin, and a couple hours later they called back and said Dr. Baskin had a cancellation on Tuesday. Ed was released from the hospital in Myrtle Beach on Friday. We flew out on Monday and we seen Dr. Baskin on Tuesday. He looked at our scans and went over the records and he says, I don't think you're going to get approved because you've had too many surgeries and you've already had some treatments, radiation. It doesn't fit our protocol. So he said, I'll meet with the board and we'll review it, but it's not looking good. <laughs> We're just starting out and you want your treatment to work, and here's a guy where it's a pretty bad situation. It's less likely to work because the tumor's so malicious and malignant and growing so quickly. So we came here and everything, and he goes, you're not gonna believe this, but we think you're gonna get approved for this protocol. The doctors met and deliberated about Ed's you know, conditions, and so he said that the doctors came back like 48 hours later and said that Ed will be approved and then we scheduled surgery for Ed to have the tumor removed. So what we're talking about here is a very unique and specialized form of gene therapy. In a way, it's like a Trojan horse therapy. So let me explain. We take a common cold virus called an adenovirus, very, very infectious. We take it apart so it doesn't continue to divide because we don't want it to spread like wildfire through the whole brain. So we make it safe. And then we take and put a piece of herpes virus DNA, just a tiny little piece of DNA, inside the cold virus. The virus is still a cold virus, it's not a herpes virus, but it has a little tiny piece of herpes DNA in it. We operate on the patient, we take out all the tumor that we safely can, and then in this protocol, we make 20 separate injections of this virus into the surrounding cavity where we know there's fingers of tumor that go long distances in the brain. So that virus spreads very rapidly to the entire tumor bed through the fingers into the tumor. Then 24 hours later, we start a drug called Valtrex. Valtrex is a drug against herpes cold sores. So that Valtrex goes and finds that little tiny piece of herpes DNA inside the virus, which is inside the cancer cell, kills it. So the cancer cell dies using a dose that's five times what we used in the previous trials. This technology was invented here at Houston Methodist, the only place in the country where you can do this right now. He came here, we gave him the treatment, we did the radiation, we did the chemotherapy. So when Mr. McCumber first came back, we were all pretty nervous. And the tumor's very aggressive, it grew back twice. 
What's it going to show? What's it going to mean for the future patients? So we're all pretty anxious when we pulled up that first scan. Of course, we were a little nervous. We kind of trusted and been praying, and we have so many people praying for us too. That our expectations were that tumor's gone. Dr. Baskin pulled it up on the computer and he looked at it and we looked at it and it looks like a mess to us, but he did show us, you know, before and after so we could see too that the tumor was gone. And we were just so excited and even Dr. Baskin said he's gonna run out in the hallway and jump up and down. <laughs> In order to evaluate a therapy, you have to go three, four years. But considering that his tumor grew back in weeks, twice, it hasn't grown back in six months now, that's very encouraging. So that gives us hope for future scans too. You know, it's a, it's a blessing. Our children are both strong, really. I don't think they've ever really cried about the situation. Um, they've been supportive of us through the whole journey, and they've just been really strong. And we're blessed to have two wonderful children who are strong. And they're very positive, too. And when I get down sometimes, they give me a kick in the butt, and they tell me, you guys stay positive, and <laughs> you're going to do it. You got this, Dad. That's what they always say. You yeah. got this, Dad. And every step of the way, we've just had so much love and support. And Dr. Baskin and his staff have been wonderful to us. Now when we come in and see them, it's all huggy duggy hug. <laughs> <laughs> and so it just helps us a lot too with being here without our family. So they become like family to us. It's a wonderful thing for me to see this sort of stuff because no matter what your experience and your skill as a surgeon is, you can only operate on so many people in your lifetime. So that's the value of research, that's the value of clinical research. Mr. McCumber is now over a year from his treatment. Who would ever think that a patient who had a tumor grow back twice in three months would now be tumor free? So we're assembling a team of immunologists and cancer biologists to actually study these patients and study their tumors and to study their blood and look at their genetic profile. And we hope soon to have some answers that helps us understand who's gonna benefit most from this therapy and also how to take somebody who might not benefit so well and treat them in a way to boost their immune system so that they will.